God always wants to bless his people. The only way you can know that God answers prayer is for you to get a hold of that Bible that has put in you so that you pray. And when you pray, you attract the heavenlies, the blessings from God. Prayer for your people. Prayer for your people. I want to be specific. We are a people. You are a people. And when we talk about pray for your people, that means you step in to pray a specific prayer for your people you will understand what we are coming from and where we are going to Paul says in Romans 9 verse 3 he says, for I could wish that I myself be a curse from Christ for my brethren, my countrymen according to the flesh. Korka <laughs> Now, Paul was sent to the Gentiles. He was preaching. But he was a Jew. So he was seeing what God was doing in the Gentiles. But his own people. His own people. Did not obey God. Something wrong was happening. <laughs> and he says, I wish that I myself were cast from Christ. Why? Because of my brethren, my countrymen, according to the flesh. Let me put it in this context. It's like I'm saying, I, Isaac. I wish I'm cast from Christ because of my own people. That must be something that was praying Paul on the inside. I don't know how you feel about your own people. <laughs> As a believer, is there something that is paining you on the inside? Concerning your people, your tribe, your family. Is there something that is paining you? No. no. If it is not there after this, you will have it. Can I hear some amen? amen? I like what how New Living Translation says. It says, For my people, my Jewish brothers and sisters. 
<laughs> so you can put your old people there. Maybe a lawyer, a duo, a jikuyu, whatever it is. I want to get a hold of this. He says, for my people, my Jewish brothers and sisters, I will be willing to be forever cast, cut off from Christ. If that would save them. What is happening? God is building a valley. Listen to this. The beginning of God's answer to prayer is body. That's a very important point. The beginning of God's answer to any prayer is in the body. So when you have a body, that is the beginning of your cancer to that prayer. Let me bring it to understanding. When you have the body on how our children are being led astray, our children are being led astray. When you have a body, on how our children are being led astray then you can pray when you have a burden how poverty is holding our people and that's the beginning of the answer when you have a burden of every evil thing that happens and we are associated with it and you say Lord this should not be in our land that is the beginning of the answer when you don't have a body you don't have an answer <laughs> say amen <laughs> how many are with me <laughs> So God gives a body to a man or a woman. And that becomes your calling. He's calling you to do it. And God is calling you and I to pray. For our God is calling you and I to pray for our families. He's calling on you and I to pray for our land. He's calling for you and I to pray for our businesses, our schools, our infrastructure, our agriculture, everything. Have that body. How that body? Because God always wants to bless His people. The only way you can know that God answers prayer is for you to get a hold of that body that has put in you so that you pray. And when you pray, you attract the heavenlies, the blessings from God. Say amen to that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No wonder that's why the enemy is fighting prayer so much. I would be disappointed if I asked you how many have been fasting. I would be disappointed. I don't know what was. Because I know a few hands will go up. I understand that the enemy fights. Fight. 
But today we are rising up. I'm saying today we are rising up. In the name of Jesus. To pray for our people. Say amen to that. Say we are rising up. In Jesus name. Every religion pray. Talk about Hindu. Talk about Buddhist. Scientologist. Whatever it is, they pray. But it depends on who you are praying to. But we are praying to the God of heaven. The God who answers prayers. But all the other gods are the ones. And so our God must answer our prayer. So that those gods will know that our God is a sovereign God. Can you say amen to that? He says in Proverbs 15 29. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. Proverbs 15 29. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Hallelujah. The Lord is far from the world, the wicked. But he hears the prayer of the righteous. You are not the righteousness of God in the house. You stand before God, you are the righteousness of God. Jesus has forgiven you. So God must hear your prayer. Let me tell you something. Whether you like it or not. Don't think you're doing okay, so you don't care whether somebody's not doing well. There are some things that affect all of us. Whether rich or poor. So those things that confront all of us, we must confront them. Somebody must stand out. That's why Nehemiah is standing out. You must stand out. This church must stand out and pray for our people. Tell the person next to you, you must stand up <laughs> and pray for our people. Are you getting something out of this? Just keep with me. The direction of your prayer should be to God. God of heaven who keeps the covenant. And he gives mercy to those who love him. So our prayer must be focused and focused to God in heaven. That's the God we know. That's the God we know. He's the God of the mountain. Because he created the mountain. He's the God of the valley. Because he created the valley. He's the God of the rivers. Because he created the river. He's my God. Because he created you in his own image and likeness. That's the God we must pray to. Amen. So when you see people pray to other gods, come on, somebody, come on, somebody, come on, somebody. Be sensitive out and counter that. 
Diego. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You have the power. To call on the God of heaven. When we look in a such power. That's why when they are worshipping things and idols to stand and call on your God who answers with fire. May your God answer with fire. May your God answer with fire. Say amen. amen. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. But as we are saying, and so before you get a burden, I started the problem. By asking yourself questions. Keeping your repair. And the questions will lead you to preparing yourself for prayer. And so ask questions before you pray for your people. How are we going? Economically, education wise, politically, agriculturally, health wise, relationally. How are we going? A certain equation. Ask even for yourself. How is my family doing? How? So that you get the question that will lead you and prepare you to pray. Amen. 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 I want to say that again. 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 I want to say that you I want to say that again. I want to say that again. I want to say that to say that again. I want to say that again. I to say that again. I to to why is it when I begin to succeed, everybody turns against me? Why is it every month of February in January, I'm also always too sick? Why is it in the month of August I'm, I'm full of anxiety and fear? Why is it that I'm always worrying and 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 Hello? Hello. What are you doing? <laughs> Asserting the problem by asking questions. <laughs> that will prepare you to pray and show you how to pray. Are we together? <laughs> Say, I hear you. <laughs> Say, I follow you. <laughs> One of the reasons why you don't get your prayers answered is because you don't ascertain the problem. <laughs> your prayer means <laughs> yes, you are very prayerful. <laughs> but you are always missing the mark. <laughs> Until you get frustrated and stop praying. <laughs> And I'm sure some of us are not praying and uh, you're saying I've been fasting and fasting and fasting here in here now. But nothing happens. I'm here to tell you that there is a God in heaven who has his prayer. Just know how to pray and when to pray. Asserted the problem. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. 
Once you are certain the problem, you are destined for the answer. You are destined for the answer. Don't just pray without settling the problem. Every prayer items we give you. We don't just give you anyhow. So when I say pray for your people, I know what I'm talking about. We need prayers more than never before. Now listen to me. The fact that somebody comes closer to you does not mean his heart is with you. Even in political leadership does not mean that he loves you. The Bible says the hearts of the king are in God's hand. Like a river he turned it. Your prayer will turn the hearts of the leadership. Amen. 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 Premature death and diseases, and every stroke 
The preparations of the heart belong to man, but the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. Mm. Prepare your heart for what you want to do. But the answer is from who? 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 And he says, the answer of the tongue is from who? The Lord. A man believeth in his heart. Then he speaks. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So when you go to pray, prepare your heart fast. What is the burden of your heart? Not the burden of your mind. Amen. Then God will answer you. Say amen to that. So let's look at the book of Nehemiah. We learn a lot from Nehemiah. But I want to draw special attention into his prayers. And particularly his prayer for his people. And I want you to understand that God's nature is that He is. God's nature is that He is. 